Hello guys, I'm Urban Fox Gamer, and today I'll be just showing you how to make Blender 2.8 to work like 3ds Max with new keybinds and how to make the startup file as like 3ds Max. So this is part of a tutorial on how to use Blender as a 3ds Max user. So let's begin. This is a fresh install of Blender 2.8 2a. So I'll just click away to remove the splash screen, treat it with the cube, the camera, and the default light. So let's go to edit, preferences, key map, and click import. So in order to get this file, the 3ds Max and then Blender controls that py, I'll provide the link in the description below and I will provide it there and you guys download that first and go back to my video let's just say you you are done downloading the file extract that file and click this file so we import key configuration and we close it so that key configuration is just industry compatible controls of blender 2.82 with my modifications of 3ds max controls which i will list down in in the, the description below and I added some Blender's control. Some of 3ds Max controls are I changed the redo button to control Y. I added the quad view, alt W, but it sadly doesn't work that way, like Maya or 3ds Max. Uh, Shift Q to render, quick render. Uh, alt Q to isolate an object, which you can see here in the quad view. If I isolate, alt q it will isolate all in those four viewports semicolon is repeat last command let's just say i'm going to move it here in the axis and i'll press semicolon again as you can see it is moving on the y-axis repeatedly i made focus z i made the orthographic and perspective a toggle by pressing u and the guidelines in the grid is pressed by G. I added Blender controls, which is Shift A to add elements, Shift C to reset the cursor, because Blender is using a cursor, a tool called cursor for snapping uh, elements. This is as well as spawning tool so shift c to reset the camera and the cursor by pressing ctrl alt and numpad zero will make the view as the camera as you can see here so i'll just shift key to render that view as you can see i'll just alt left click to, to rotate ctrl j to join two objects that's a blender thing um, let's just duplicate let you see so this is two objects by clicking them both by pressing ctrl j they will be one object now lastly i added two personal control setup which is a very simple inset and extrude option so let's go to face mode by pressing 3 so shift e is my extrude option of course there are control e as the default extrusion of industry compatible controls but th my version of control um extrude is extrude on normals now for the shift shift i is inset inset here there you go so the difference of the default inset hotkey which is i is it will inset without a boundary which is pretty useful in mirroring which I'll show you in the next video so just for a starter um, the controls of the camera is in Maya so alt left click is rotation alt middle mouse is panning and scroll wheel is zooming in and out so the default Q W E R is still there you can cycle it but I default I did disable the cycling because it is a nuisance for me I don't know if it's a nuisance for you but you can enable the cycle by going to edit preferences 
changing the name to keybind, pressing Q and search for that object mode set tool name and the mesh under mesh set tool name. Just check this cycle. Now, every time you open Blender, this is how it will look like. Doesn't look like 3ds Max. If you want like a, a blank canvas, Control A, select them all, delete, then go to File, Defaults, Save Startup File, and hit again. So, what happened there is every time you open the general option, when you're pressing New, it will open up with nothing. Unless you, if you wanted a cube in the middle, it's fine as well. For those views, F1, F2, F3 is just going to F1 is front, F2 is right, F3 is top. Alt left click will just go to perspective. The difference of Blender to 3ds Max, you have to go to object mode every time. So that is pressing 4. So let, let's just add a cube, which is Shift A, Mesh, Cube. Just to see. In order to go to other objects, let's add another cube or it's just a UV sphere. Let's move it here. So let's just say I'm going to edit this. So I edit this, that. Now in order to click this, I have to go to object mode, which is pressing four. So one is first, two is edge, three is face mode. Again, whenever you are in edit mode, which is 1, 2, 3, you can't click upside. Except here, within this editable poly that you are editing. In order to click here, you have to press 4. Which is, you can see here, on the top left. On which mode you are. While you are in edit mode, which is, you can see on the top left corner, which is here. If you press right click, you can see all the available tools and options you can do with the cube. Of course, this is contextual, so vertex mode, edge mode, and face mode is going to be different every time you right click. Find this mini tutorial that I made for Blender as a 3ds Max beginner, which is I'm still are, are very useful for your entry point for Blender 2.8. Give this one a like. Thank you for watching. This is Urban Fox Gamer signing out.